See, what you, what you look at, you develop affection for. What you develop affection for will turn into a lust. That's the way it goes. It's the same process of building a stronghold in your mind. The exact same process. First, see, the devil can't just come in and build a stronghold. He has to build it brick by brick with your help. You have to think on the things that are wrong instead of Philippians 4, 8, thinking on these things which are good and pure and holy and a good report. See, it's your choice whether you have a good stronghold or a bad stronghold. Most people think of strongholds in the term of negative, but there can be good strongholds, okay? A good stronghold is having your mind in a fortress of the word of God so that whenever you see a situation, automatically your mind goes to, I should lay hands on them, automatically. Oh, I should help that person. See, that's a stronghold. When you think that without thinking about it, that's a stronghold in you that's been built up by constant practice, and it's a good thing. Amen? Rather than seeing the negative, oh, well, yeah, but, you know, if I give money to them, uh, they're probably going to use it to buy drugs or alcohol. See, that's a negative stronghold. Now, could it be true? Sure. But what has that to do with you doing what God said to do? See, God didn't say, give it to people that deserve it. Give it to people that you know are going to use it right. He didn't say, he said, give it to any man that asks you. Now, I know that's a hard one. I didn't like it either, you know? And God had to break that in me. And it was amazing because after I started doing that, I noticed the increase in my life that was totally, I thought, unrelated to what was going on there. But I could go into that, but I don't have time. Anyway, 